Hey guys, I'm LB, and I got a request to play a co-op map, and because of my crazy schedule, I have not actually been able to play it co-op with anybody, so instead, I will be doing this single player. This is Advanced Co-op Tactics by Hestia is Bestia, or otherwise known as Streetwalking, uh, Censored. Edited version of Dr. Frawley's map, Accelerated Thinking, with some extra challenges. Like the original, this puzzle requires no glitches, no cube tossing, no deaths, no timing, no ninja tricks, no hidden elements, no obscure techniques, or any gimmicky methods. What it requires is lots of planning and thinking ahead several moves before executing. The sequence of moves is very important. Unfortunately, there isn't always an easy way to get back to a previous state if you make a wrong move, so feel free to noclip to a previously achieved state. Uh, difficulty 9 out of 10 on logic. Wow, okay. <laughs> well, let's see here. <laughs> I have actually not played co-op maps in single player before, so... This is actually a new experience for me. I think the most I've ever done is just, uh, the- like, testing it out in Puzzle Maker. Alright, so we can control this guy, and we can control this guy. Awesome. So let's- let's take a look around, and see what we're dealing with here. What does this do? Oh wait, the ant line is reversed? How does that work? What? I didn't even know that was possible! Is that something you can do with B-Mod? I- I had no idea. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. Uh, okay. What's through here? This doesn't seem to be automatic by any means- oh yeah, because it needs this button here. Let's see... Over here we have that. Got a laser receiver up there, we have a faceplate. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot how- how much clattering these robots do. These are the noisiest- noisiest player characters ever. Interesting faith plate. I wonder what deal with that is. Huh. So where should we go first? That's that's an important question, I think, that we should be asking. Cause that looks like the exit up there. And the exit requires something to be on this button. Alright. There's a light bridge activated by a laser receiver. What does this do? Does something in here. Okay, it does the bottom flip panel, alright. I think this map might have been taken into hammer, because look, I see that right there looks like B mod, but then this right here, I don't think B mod can do that. I think this might have been taken into hammer. Alright, so. I guess we should see what's up here eventually. Can't do anything up here, right? So that's an or? This or that, I guess? Also, this looks really weird with the, the white panels here. Normally you don't see that. Alright, well let's go in here real quick. And... I don't think we need to do... Actually, we can test this for now. Let's see what this does. That did activate the other panel. What exactly does this do for us? <laughs> Not quite what I expected, but okay. Where might we use that? Have we seen any other portal surfaces? I don't actually remember. What? Why am I getting prompts on this player? That's weird. <laughs> Strange. There's also this, which we might... Oh, but this is there's here. That is an issue. Yes, game, I know how to unzoom. Okay, so... I guess for now, we'll just want to actually go up here, right? Let's see what's at the top. Uh... Not quite what I was expecting, but okay, there is stuff up here. So let's just investigate that. Let's 
see. We have a dropper, and we have... I guess that's an escape path? Oh. This requires something else? I guess it requires that button. Alright. Well, that's easy. Let's go over here and stand on the button. Yep, that's exactly what that is. Yes, I know how to pick up and drop cubes. Don't have to remind me, game. Oh, that's kind of weird how it only reminds player 2 like that. Strange. What does this do? Does this have any ant lines, or is that, is that just signage? Square. Have we seen square anywhere? I don't actually remember. Oh, there it is! That's- that's what Square does. Okay. Also, is it possible to save in this- this state? I don't think I can even- Like, I might be able to create manual saves, but I don't even know if I'd be able to load them. Either way, it's not like- it's not like death is any threat to us. But, uh, I am worried about this, uh, this whole issue about, uh, having a no-clip if you mess up or whatever. Strange that the game doesn't pause. Like, what happens if I hit escape? Yeah, the game does not pause. Interesting. That's a side effect of doing co-op this way, I guess. Can't do anything in here, right? Yeah, I think that's just a return path. <laughs> Clanky robots. Yeah, so this is the escape hatch. Although, why would this be here? Doesn't... Can't we just drop down... Am I imagining things? How did- Oh, right, cause, uh, yeah. Right, so if that's gone, we can't use this anywhere. Although, technically... Wait a second. So if this does... Aha! Now we could potentially fire... like this, right? I guess we could launch ourselves, potentially, so we can walk through this, and then... portal here. And then what? Huh. Let's see, if we do... If we do that, and... Oh. We can't activate that unless somebody stands on this button. Yeah, hmm. Here, real quick. No, oh, this isn't gonna help us at all. Or maybe it might. Then let's do this and this. And then oh, we had to go stand over on this button, right? And then now we can shoot through here, right? We've done that. Now... I think... I think all we have to do... is swap places. Like this. Oh wait, but... That's not going to work.
you know, I could use the cube. <laughs> that would- that would probably- that would probably help a lot. Yeah, that- that would probably help a lot. Okay, let's- let's undo- let's undo my slopping here. So let's see, let's take this cube. We'll put it... We'll put it downstairs, and then we can stand on that button ourselves. There's that. portal out there. Yeah, the issue now is that I think we need those in order to survive. Although... Can't stand here and shoot a portal down there at the same time, unfortunately. <laughs> Let's see. So... We want to do... This real quick. Oh, nope, that's exactly the wrong thing to do. I forgot to put... Oh, I had the portal there first. <laughs> Oops. Let's see. Come in here, and then we replace the portals with our own. There we go. And then, let's see... What we wanna do... is... portal here... and then portal... here... and then we can just walk over here, like this. Yeah, this should work. Theoretically. Let's find out. <laughs> oh, well, so much for that. What is actually happening right now? I- I accidentally hit my no-clip keybind. Okay, well, I guess that is one way. Oops. Let's- let's just- let's just undo. <laughs> Control Z! Alright, so. The orientation matters. I think we can fix that easily enough. Can we? Or is this aim assisted? It's completely aim assisted. Wow, there is nothing to be done there. So, let me get this straight. The orientation matters, and the faceplate launches me directly into the deadly goo. That's really what's happening right now. Well then... Okay. I honestly thought that would work. So, 
another alternative, maybe. How does that other faceplate work? This one down here. It doesn't actually launch you into the portal. <laughs> wow! Really, game? That's- that's just something that's gonna happen now. <laughs> oh, wow. How does it expect me to do this? <laughs> oh, man. I'll appease it. There we go. Makes you a happy game? Whatever. Oh, what? I can no-clip with this? Since when... is that a thing? Oh crap, how do I let go of this? Uh, oh dear. I... I have made a big mistake. <laughs> oh dear. Go back inside, please. Um, how do I fix this? I've made a very, very big mistake. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna restart the map. I will be right back. Alright, I think I have everything back to the way it was, so... Let's look at this problem again. So, this safe plate does not really get us into the portal, unfortunately. Wow, that was... that was quite strange, actually. Yeah, this- this definitely does not help us, is what I'm trying to say. And this, this just kills us. Well, I mean, it would if we actually went into the portal. Because, yeah, that is- that is deadly goo. Oh, wow! <laughs> that's- that's certainly one way to do things. I guess the other thing we could try... What if we just do this? That might work. So let's go stand on this button. And then... try it. Well... Let's try this. And then, then we'll try this. Nope, nope. <laughs> that completely does not work at all. So much for that. Huh. I want to try one more time, but we have to do some... some maintenance here <laughs> in order to get this back to the way things were. So let's see. Here. Here. And then... Well, actually, I don't know what I'm doing that for. I could just literally place things... Oh, I need to get that portal up here. Right, right, right. Okay, so now... Go stand on the button. We'll try this one more time, why don't we? Let's see, which way... Actually, which way do we want to fall into this portal from, anyway? We want to fall into the... This... This side here. Oh, crap. Well, that's... Yep, I don't think that's gonna work. There's nowhere that I can store... any... velocity, right? Well then how am I supposed to do anything in here?
That's- that's down only. Pretty sure I'm not supposed to, like, jump on top of my partner or anything like that. Something up there activates a light bridge here. Is it- is it that button? <laughs> yeah, it looks like that's button right there. What's up with that? <laughs> Strange. I don't know. Let me let me let me see about these hints. The following are important key states that need to be achieved in order to arrive at the solution. You will need to plan all the moves between each of these steps in order to avoid messing up and having to reset. Obviously, spoilers ahead. That's interesting, how... Are these, like, nested spoiler tags? That is... <laughs> I don't think I've seen that before. Yeah, it's a nested spoiler tag, strange. First step would be to get a player in the laser room with weighted cube on triangle button and reflector cube on the starting room button. Get a player in the laser room, with weighted cube on the triangle button, and reflected cube on the starting room button. Triangle button? There's a triangle button somewhere? That looks like the triangle button. What? Uh. Am I missing something here? How am I supposed to get up there? Cause that's a fizzler. What is that faceplate for? I feel like this is supposed to be the first step, but the portal's the wrong orientation. I don't really know what I'm doing. Alright, so, uh, it's actually been a long time since, uh, the last clip. Uh, I took- I took a nap, I had lunch, and I thought about this, and, uh, I'm thinking that maybe if I infinite myself, it'll be enough velocity to, to just not even need those at all, because there's- can potentially land there. I don't actually have to... Like, let me- let me show you what I'm talking about here. I don't actually have to land on these. I could potentially land there, maybe, if I had enough velocity. And I wasn't trying that before, because I thought that I wouldn't have enough velocity. I thought that I needed- I thought that I needed this button for those. But we're gonna- we're gonna try this instead. So let's see. We'll get this into position. And then we will infinite loop. Nope, alright. <laughs> definitely need, definitely need to have this button pressed. See, the thing is... Like, if I had the cube up here pressing that button instead, then I wouldn't be able to... I wouldn't be able to have this button pressed in here. Having this button pressed is what turns that on. I have discovered, also, that, like, you can fight the faceplate a little bit, but I don't know how intended that is, and either- even- even so, it doesn't get you far enough. Like, let me- let me go back in here and show you. So, let's see, we need to stand on this button. It doesn't get you far enough, I'll tell you that much. Let's see. Fight- oop, let's- oh, let's actually... 
that actually worked out okay. <laughs> so yeah, we do this, and yeah. That happened. Alright, so, so much for that idea. I just, <laughs> just wanted to try that out. I think, if I can't figure it out from here, I might just have to give up trying to solve this before the end of the month, and get Nock to help me with it. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, so, yeah, I'll do some thinking. <laughs>